I, in this video, I'm going to be talking about my current skincare regime. I have been asked many, many times actually to do a video on my skincare and I just haven't got around to doing it. It has been on my list because a few months ago when I did my first giveaway, the question for everyone to answer was what sort of videos would you like to see and skincare came up quite heavily. So I thought, okay then, I will def definitely do it and I just thought oh, time is right now because I was in the process of using some products I hadn't used for very long so I wanted to give them a really good try before I did a video and explaining everything about it and all that. Any questions please ask down below. I am not a skincare expert. I have pretty much learnt all throughout the years about what different things mean and what I should be using or what I don't be or what I shouldn't use. You know I still got a heck of a lot to learn. I don't really know the in and outs of the sciencey bits as such but there's some new words cropping up all the time that I'm sort of learning so yeah bear with me. <laughs> Let's start with a cleansing. So cleansing all depends. Cleansing in the morning, I have a shower. So I wake up, I have a shower, and I just grab whatever is in the shower. I do have a selection of skincare products, and I've brought some now to show you. Some of the items I use is simple, and this is just the Vital Vitamin Kind to Skin Foaming Cleanser. So this is just really gentle on your skin. It's foaming, it's very natural, full of vitamins, and it's just really nice, really, really nice. And yeah, it's just really nice just to freshen me up in the morning. Um, I also use One One Skin. Now this is quite pricey. The recommended retail price for this is 40 pound. Oh, I forgot to say. The recommended retail price for this is about £4.50 but um, so yeah this is a bit of a step up in price but I won this. I actually chose this in the glossy box I created myself when I won glossy of the month back in June. So I have been using it, not frequently because it is such a nice product I don't want to <laughs> use it all at once but it is nice, it feels so so lovely. It restores my skin's pH balance, it protects against free radical damage and it purifies the skin, it cleanses and purifies the skin and it does feel really really lovely. I do like it, it's got a nice smell and yeah there's quite a lot in here actually, it's 120 ml so I've used about probably what's it about half something like that. It is really nice. I do really like it. So in between those, I do use a glycolic scrub. I don't use glycolic scrub every day because I find if I use it every day, it irritates my skin. I haven't really got sensitive skin, but if I put too much on my skin, it does become irritated. So the scrubs that I like to use is this Nip and Fab Glycolic Scrub Fix and this retails for about £10 but it's on offer at the moment and it's been on offer for quite a while. I think I, I bought this for about £6 or something. It feels just so nice on the skin. Gorgeous, gorgeous smell. So it's got a mix of glycolic which actually um, exfoliates the skin and it's got I can never say that one what's it called salicylic salicylic and that's the thing that really scrubs out and cleans out your pores <laughs> tackles your pores so it's got a combination of those two in there and it does it feels my it leaves my skin feeling really really lovely sometimes I use this as well which is the nip and fag glycolic fix foaming pads very similar principles but you it's foaming pads one side is an exfoliant and the other side is a polisher if I use these every day yeah as I said my skin gets irritated so I tend to mix things up a bit I generally stick to these as they're very kind to my skin and I do feel like they do cleanse my skin really well but in between I'd say every other day I do use a glycolic scrub which is handy which is good so after I've cleansed my face and made sure all scrap of yuck and dirt has come off my face I then go upstairs because we've got a bathroom downstairs so I then go upstairs and my face is dry by that by now my face is bone dry so I never ever put any skincare products on dry skin having damp skin absorbs makes the products absorb better into your skin and yeah and it just feels horrible if I apply anything like hyaluronic acid or serums or whatever straight onto dry skin it 
it, no, I don't like it. So I've invested in something that is amazing. I absolutely love it. Um, I think I'm just going to be using it forever. I'm talking about Neod and this is a super oxide dismetyl sacc saccharide mist, if I said that right. It's known as sod and we create sod. We have sod in our body naturally, but as we get older, it diminishes a little bit. So it is a treatment. It is, it's not, it's sometimes get mistaken for a toner, but it's not, it is actually a skin treatment, a dermal skin treatment and it you can apply it morning and evening, well I do, I apply it morning and evening and you can also apply it onto your body as well. So this is what it looks like. Ooh. Now, recommended retail price for this is £34, and this comes in, what is it, a 240ml bottle. So you can see how much I've used there. I've had this for over a month, and I use it morning and night. So it is, it's lasting very well, and I managed to get £10 off on Feel Unique. But um, all the details I'll link down below anyway, so if you're interested, you can have a look afterwards. But I'll link all the products that I've got. I will get a link, and I'll put them down below so you can have a look. But basically, this is, as I said, this is a treatment mist. It it is used to fight free radicals, it's used to um, to fight oxidative stress, you know, the type of stress like weather changes. We're coming into winter, or we are in winter, it was actually snowing last night here in West Wales. <laughs> but um, so the, the changes in climate and everything, you know, it affects, it's pollution, all that stuff, and water loss as well. So it, it fights that and it helps keep you hydrated. It really, really helps keep you hydrated and it feels amazing on the skin. It's also good for inflammation. So if you have redness or rosacea or sensitive skins, apparently it's really, really good for that as well. So while my skin is still damp with this, I then go on to hyaluronic acid. And it's taken me a while to say that. Hyaluronic acid, I can say it now. So this is hyaluronic acid, <laughs> hyaluronic acid by The Ordinary, and this is 2% and it's got vitamin B5, which is amazing for your skin. So it comes in a 30 ml bottle. The recommended retail price is £5.90. Again, this is a skin hydrator and it locks in the moisture into your skin. So if you were to drink lots of water like we all should be doing, it helps draw the water up to the skin surface. And you need something to lock this in. So you need a moisturiser, which is a little bit further down my skin regime. <laughs> But a moisturiser locks this in, so it keeps your skin hydrated and moisturised for longer. If I didn't put moisturiser on, it might it would make my skin feel dry. So they work in connection, they work together. So a hyaluronic acid and a moisturiser, they're like that, they work together. They, we, again, we naturally make this in our bodies, but as we age, it decreases. So you only need to apply a tiny, tiny bit of this to your skin because if you put too much, I find that it tends to pill, you know? You find those little bits, but those little lumps on your skin. So I use a tiny, tiny bit and it does last me ages. It does last me ages. I've just bought a brand new bottle there, but um, no, it's, it's, it's full of goodness. I love this stuff and super, super, super cheap. <laughs> so yeah, so this is your skin hydrator again. So we're adding on layers, slowly and slowly we're adding on layers. So the fourth step is my treatment <laughs> and this is my serums. So I do have a mixture of serums and it all depends on what I'm going for actually. I have been trying out a few different ones recently and the one I'll talk about first is the Paragon MD and it's a high potency amine facelift and this is a 59ml. Now this is more of a creamy consistency and while the hyaluronic acid is still on my skin, you can still sort of feel it a bit tacky, I apply the, uh, apply the serum. It retails at 80 pound. I had this in my Love Me Beauty um, last month or the month before, I can't remember now. So it's not something I would actually go out and just buy like that. Um, I'm still on the fence with it. It feels nice on my skin. I do like it. It absorbs well, which is key. I want things to really absorb well into my skin and make my skin, leave my skin feeling really nice. Basically, it contains really powerful anti-inflammatory properties. 
all the stuff that helps fight against aging and fine lines and everything like that <laughs> there is one serum that i do really like and i got that in a beauty box as well and then i got this in spoiler box and i love it it is really nice <laughs> I think it retails for about £50, so again, quite expensive. So in this is a big 50ml bottle, and it's Wild Bloom's Pure Skincare Longevity Coenzyme Q10 Face Serum. Anti-aging complex with Coenzyme Q10, alpha lyptic acid, and botanical extracts to revitalise mature skin. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. Nice bottle there. It feels gorgeous. I'll just show you what it looks like on my skin. So... It's becoming more and more opaque, the products, as we go along. It just, oh, it just feels so nice. It's light. It is not heavy on the skin. I forgot to say at the start, my skin I would class as normal combination. So I tend to not go for really thick creams and lotions and oils, especially during the day. I like everything to be quite light and to absorb well into my skin and not to leave a greasy film or anything like that. And also because I wear makeup every single day, I want something that feels quite natural underneath and doesn't affect my makeup. So even though I am using quite a few products, it doesn't feel like it. It doesn't feel like I am, you know? It's not, my skin doesn't feel overloaded. And this is lovely. It's got a nice smell. It is just really nice, really, really nice. So after my serums, I go on to an eye cream. Now generally, I'm not too fussy about an eye cream. <laughs> I should be, I know, from about the age of like 20 onwards your eyes start changing <laughs> and I'm noticing in the last couple of years that my, I'm not wearing flicks today but my um, liquid eyeliner flicks but oh, they are becoming a pain in the butt <laughs> I'm trying to get nice even flicks either side because when I go like this, when I stretch my eye and I do a nice flick I thought oh yeah it looks really nice but then when I close my eyes all the wrinkles settle and I've got a wonky flicks Hmm. So yeah, I am looking more into, I'm reading up more about eye creams and stuff. So up until now, I suppose, even now, <laughs> I've been using whatever I've had in beauty boxes. And then as soon as I've had another one, I've just used another one and so on. I haven't particularly stuck to one. I haven't found an eye cream that I don't particularly like. Um, but yeah, the one I am using at the moment is a little tester that we got in the Look Fantastic box. And I've used this before. I've had it in another beauty box before. And this is uh, Philorgia or Philorga. And this is a time filler. And it's a, an um, absolute wrinkles correction cream. Now this retails the full size for about £40, £45. And they say it's like Botox in a bottle. It's, yeah, it claims to be absolutely amazing. Um, you can put it on your eyelashes and you can put it on your eyelids and underneath. You tap it into your skin, you tap it lightly. I forgot to say actually that with a hyaluronic acid, I put it all over my face. I just massage it into my face. But with my serums onwards, I tap just to press it into my skin. Just so with this as well, with my eye creams, I tap that into my eyes as well using my ring finger because it's just softer, softer pads, softer pads on your skin. I really like it, it absorbs well into the skin. It's supposed to help with dark circles and yeah, it's supposed to be a miracle. So I have been using it for a few weeks I haven't noticed much difference, but again, you know, with skincare, things do take a while. It's the same as like taking supplements like vitamin and mineral supplements, you need to be taking it for a long while before your body gets, you know, used to it and you can see any difference. So I suppose the same is with skincare, but I am enjoying using it. So I will continue to use it. So whether I'll actually go out and buy the full size, I don't know. I don't know. So that's what I do there. So the next step is moisturizer. So this locks in everything that I've done. So everything that I've put on my face up until now, this is the locker inner. <laughs> so I love this. I got this recently and never tried it before. It's Clinique Moisture, Sur Moisture Surge Extended Thirst Relief and it's a gel cream. From um, the recommended retail price is about 100 The recommended retail price is £34 for the full size. And this is a little sample pot that I got from, um, ooh, Debenham's Beauty Card. That's it. So I got a little sample. And this is a good sample. I think, what was it? It is, what is it? It doesn't say. Oh, it's 15 mil. To be honest, oh, you only need a tiny bit 
tiny, tiny, tiny bit, tiny bit. See, I'll just apply it on the skin there. Oh, oh it's lovely. So this is going to last me for months and months, I think. So I apply this to the skin and yeah. Oh, it's just gorgeous. It is really, really gorgeous. It's for all skin types. It's lightweight. It absorbs really fast into the skin and it leaves my skin. I can feel it now. It leaves, it leaves my skin feeling so, so soft and hydrated. My skin actually looks quite nice. I have, if it wasn't for my broken capillaries and my scars and my darkness under my eyes, I think I'd be quite happy to go out without makeup on. Maybe a bit of mascara and eyebrow pencil, but no mind. But no, it just, I don't know. I just find that the products that I use, I think this is like the icing on the cake for me. And I'm so, so, so chuffed that I managed to find it. I got it, tried it, and I love it. I will definitely 100% be buying this afterwards. Definitely, I absolutely love it. So it claims to give an immediate moisture boost, which it does, plumps firm, um, plumps your skin and your fine lines and firm skin and yeah it's it's gorgeous I love it I absolutely love it so yeah so that's my favorite before that I was using this I do like Olay I have been using Olay for years and I like this one it's a feather light moisturizer and it's got SPF 15 in it which is really good so that's what that one looks like and that fights the seven signs of aging which are they don't tell you on here the seven signs anyway. <laughs> so my last item in my daytime skincare regime is SPF. So the one I'm currently using is Garnier Skin Active Moisture Boim, Boim, <laughs> Boim Protect. Now this is a multi-protecting hydrating mist and it's SPF 30. So it claims to be anti-pollution, anti-oxidation and you can wear it under or over makeup. It's just a very, very fine mist and I wanted something, again, quite lightweight because sometimes you know, some of the SPFs that I do use, they are quite thick to the skin and they do, they can leave like a white cast on your skin as well, specifically in like photos or your makeup might not sit well on top, you get, you know, but this one is very, very lightweight. It might not be suitable for all skins. It says for sensitive and really good for dry, but it all depends with because it is a greasy formula. It all depends on where you hold it and how much you put on your face. Now, I'm I'll put it on my face because I don't want it on my hair because when I put it on my hair is usually in a turban or tied back but you have to shake it <clears throat> and hold it about 10 centimeters away and just lightly spray like that I can hardly feel it I can hardly feel it as it goes on my hand hardly feel it but it instantly dries, it absorbs into my skin and it smells quite nice and it's a hydrator again. Apparently it will hydrate your skin, you can put it or pop it in your bag. I haven't done that yet, it's just in my bedroom. <laughs> I've only started using this recently and I think it'd be really nice actually to pop it in my bag if I was going out anywhere, especially in the summer months where I need to top up my SPF more frequently. And um, yeah, I just really like it. I just really, really like it. And I need an SPF 30 minimum. The SPF 50 in the summer, SPF 30 in the winter, because without it, it's encouraging fine lines and wrinkles to age me. <laughs> so going on to the nighttime regime, so to take my makeup off, it all depends really, it depends on how lazy I am. <laughs> if I'm not feeling lazy, I will go downstairs to the bathroom and I will proper cleanse my face like I do in the shower using, you know, the one one skin or the foaming or whatever, just to get my makeup off. And then to make sure my makeup is really off, I then use, um, I haven't got it with me now, but it's a Garnier and it's um, the micellar water. I can get a big bottle for about £5 and it lasts forever. It is really good. And I've got cotton wool pads then that I apply to my face and make sure I've got every little scrap of dirt and makeup and everything off my face. So, yeah, if I'm feeling lazy, I will skip the downstairs cleansing and I will just take my makeup off with um, the micellar water. But I might go through about four or five pads <laughs> to take the makeup off. I do wear quite a bit. So the way my skin is really dry, I then go back to 
what I do in the morning and I spray the neod, the sod, the sod mist on my skin. So again, I want something to prep my skin. I want it to, you know, absorb well into my skin, help the other treatments that I'll be using absorb well into my skin and work well together. So after the facial mist, I then use a retinoid. So the retinoid I've got is by The Ordinary and this is the Advanced Retinoid 2%. So it says here, a stable emulsion of next generation forms of retinoid. So that's what it looks like and the recommended retail price is £8. So it's a lightweight treatment basically for the skin. It's an anti-aging treatment. <laughs> it helps diminish fine lines and wrinkles but it's also great for scar tissue on the face which is why I use it because after suffering from many many years of acne I have got scarring all across my chin, all around my hairline and a bit over my nose and the t-zone basically. The retinoids can cause irritation, it depends on your skin. Even though they can be used for people that are prone to acne, you have to be careful. So if you do see a bit of irritation, it is quite normal. It's your skin renewing and turning over, so to speak. If it's too, if it's too harsh on your skin, then I would say, and I think other people recommend doing it every other day or every couple of days or so on until your skin gets used to it. Now I've been on the hard stuff, I've been on retinol, teratitonin or whatever it's called, I can't remember now. So my skin is used to pretty harsh stuff. So this is quite light <laughs> for me, even though 2% is quite a high potency, it is, it's, it's okay on my skin. But also when you, if you're using this, you have to make sure you wear SPF because you become sen sensitive, which is quite dangerous if you're not. That's to target my bad skin <laughs> and blur it all away. So then on top of that, and the last item I use in my nighttime regime is another ordinary product. I love the ordinary, it's amazing. It is the 100% organic cold press rosehip seed oil and this daily support formula for all skin types. So that's what it looks like. Ooh. And the recommended retail price is £9. So this is a luxurious oil. It feels amazing on the skin. It penetrates the skin deeply and really replenishes the skin. And it contains a load of vitamins, mainly vitamin A, um, which which you know helps support skin cell renewal, etc. Just how it they it goes so well with retinoid. These two. This, the rosehip seed oil and retinoids go really well together, really, really well, because it just, it builds skin, it helps skin rejuvenate and recreate and yeah, you get what I mean. <laughs> I've just bought another bottle, so I've got a lot to go. It does last a while. You only need a tiny bit, tiny, tiny bit, and mine is bright orange colour. You can see there, but oh, look at that oil. It's lovely really 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 luxurious so that's all my skincare routine that is it a heck of a lot i know but once i put everything on you know i it's i've got the mist the hyaluronic acid the serum the moisturizer the spf the eye cream the lip balm <laughs> cleansing and everything. So it does take a while to find products to suit your skin but once you do yeah it is nice but then your skin changes. <laughs> your skin changes all the time so you have to adapt all the time but anyway <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope yeah you found it interesting what I use on my skin basically if you've got any questions please comment down below and yeah let me know what your skincare routine is and what you find useful or what you don't etc that'd be really interesting to read so yeah as always thank you for watching and if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe to my channel and click that bell button so you can be notified of when my next videos are up I think my next video coming up is going to be my November sub box favourites and overall winner <laughs> so thank you for watching take care bye